Hello, my darlings. <laughs> I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another Greeting Card Thursday, where we do art on a greeting card and relax and have fun together. <laughs> so, it is getting very close to Valentine's Day, and I thought this is a great excuse to do some Valentine's Day art that's how my brain works. And uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Some cute, cheesy, lovey-dovey artwork, because that's how my brain works. And um, for the subject, I've chosen one of my favorite couples on TV right now. <laughs> Ruby and Sapphire from Steven Universe. And uh, if you don't watch Steven Universe, that's okay. I think that you'll be able to, well, hopefully appreciate the art anyway. Um, I don't really have a big plan for what I'm doing here. Like usual, I'm kind of just hoping for the best. Seems to be the theme of my videos, doesn't it? Yeah, it works out. We have fun here. <laughs> so, one of the things I noticed in the last video that I really wished that I could have featured was the actual sketching part. Because um, I know you guys like that. It's the only reason I didn't include it in the last one is because of, like, time. It, the sketch does take some time, and, um, you know, if you're doing a bunch of other things, like I was in the last one, with, with color, it, uh, makes things a little difficult, so. Today, instead of using pencil crayons to color in, we're gonna use some washes of watercolor, and hopefully that'll even everything out. I love using watercolor, you guys know that. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's my favorite thing to use. I just love it. So I've got all my paints over here. I also have a cup of tea here. So you may <laughs> hear me pause and uh, take a couple sips every once in a while. So I've been a fan of Steven Universe since it's first episode, and um, I just really love it, and I recommend it to everybody. It's, it's really one of the best cartoons on TV right now, and I think that it really is an all-ages show, like, everyone can get something out of it. I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing, despite the fact that I'm sketching so lightly right now. I'm using a, a non-photo Prismacolor Premier pencil to sketch, and I get a lot of comments that are like, you know, why do you always seem to sketch in blue? Well, I feel like it. <laughs> People usually use these if they do animation because you can easily remove all the blue from um, whatever you're working on, just to reveal, like, the line art, or, you know, just the black lines. And uh, I just got in the habit of using these, and now it's like a comfort thing, you know? So, that's why. You don't need to do what I'm doing. There's usually not a reason to my madness. It's just what I like to do. I'm sure you have your own artsy habits if you like to do art. Everybody's got their own stuff that they do that just works for them. 
So Sapphire usually doesn't have her eye showing. She has just one eye. Um, but uh, I feel like it because I think she's real cute. And I'm sketching in this blue pencil and then I'm gonna do some watercolor and I'll do the line art last because I think that it will just bring everything together. So, hmm, I'm thinking that I'm gonna have Ruby putting a flower crown on Sapphire. So we'll just put that in here. This is kind of where that will be. Always start big and do shapes and you can work it all in later. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of tea now. I'm drinking um Gray, if you're interested to know. That is my start of day tea every single day. Cream of Earl Grey from David's Tea. Gosh, I just love it. And she's got her little headband right here. Or her little hair tie or whatever it is. Usually, like, their hair is all one shape, but I'm just choosing to give it a little definition. And I'm kind of doing this from memory. I don't think that Garnet has gloves on, so <laughs> I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's just her hands. Oh, I'm not really sure that I remember um, how many fingers they give them. Did they give them four or five? Uh, I don't remember. We'll just have to wing it. <laughs> Do the best I can, but... Hmm. 
and we'll have her looking down at Sapphire. These little pink flowers. Oh, she should have thicker arms, I think. I don't know that I necessarily like how I've got um, Ruby's mouth here. I'm realizing that a couple minutes ago I called her garden. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't technically wrong, but um, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay. And I don't like her nose right here. There, that's better. It's all about fixing stuff as you go, you know? Now I'm just gonna draw some flowers in here. When I'm doing like roses or carnations or any flower like that, just start with the middle bit and make more flowers, petals, as I go out. Roses and carnations and flowers like that are pretty inconsistent. So, as long as you get the idea, it'll look like it. There. Alright. I think we're going to throw some color on this before we do anything else. I've got um, a watercolor palette right here. And I've got this thing of water right here. I do have some brushes, but I think I'm going to start with uh, my Pentel water containing brush pen thing. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's got all this water on the inside here. And it's cool because you don't have to refill for water. You can just dive right in. <laughs> All right. It's a little fluff. I'm not super sure how this paper is going to take the watercolor. I've never done it before. This is going to be a learning experience for all. I like to start with washes in the background sometimes, just to really isolate what I'm doing. Usually if I'm doing watercolor and I plan to have a background, I'll do the background first. It's just my method. Pink, pink, pink. Pink is a good color for Valentine's Day, especially, but also I think any time of year. You can see that the paper's already kind of curling. That's just what's gonna happen, because these aren't meant for watercolor. But we're using watercolor today, so it's just gonna have to deal with it. 
Gonna give Sapphire some blue for her little dress here. I'm not really doing very opaque color, I'm just doing washes. Because I want this to be cute and pastel and not too intense. It's more fun to build up color anyway when it comes to watercolors. I'm just uh, taking the opportunity to add some shading into the dress, some folds. The color, because there's so much water, is going to spread out, you'll notice, but you can do a little bit of detail work. And then, let's see, her actual skin is blue too, but I think I want to do a slightly different border. Got her little gloves on. And her hair is like a really light blue. Everything about her is blue. <laughs> Do a little blue in here, just for the sense of shading. Not too much. Like this. And her dress needs more blue, doesn't it? I know I uh, missed a day for a greeting card Thursday last week and I really wanted to uh, get one out for you guys but I was really sick. I had no voice at all. It was very tragic. <laughs> the only ASMR I was able to get up for you was one that featured very little speaking on my part. And there was no coincidence about that because I just had no voice. Not at all. I'm glad that you liked one that had less speaking anyway. It all kind of worked out, didn't it? So, Ruby has like maroon hair. I'm gonna get that effect by mixing a little bit of purple and a little bit of red together. I'm just doing washes of color here. I don't really want it to be super neat. Not for this one. I kind of like that like messy watercolor look sometimes. Especially if your line art is really smooth. I think that really adds something. eyes. And now Ruby's skin is like red, red, red. I guess you could say it's like ruby red. Oh, 
I'm awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what a dad joke. I don't even think it was a joke. here and then most of her outfit is really um, like maroonish as well look at her getting back in there it was a little bit darker than I wanted it to be yeah all right and then yeah so this is more maroon I'm just mixing purple and red in my palette to make that I'm not really super worried if colors are blending together here. It kind of adds to the look for this one. And then her little shorts. Her little biking type shorts are really dark. Like so. There we go. And then this underneath pet. She's kind of wearing like tight tank top and then a loose tucked in tank top on top of it. I've actually seen a lot of girls wearing that type of look, so it's very current and fashion now. Well done, Steven Universe team. And then her headband is red. And I'm going to give both of them a little bit of blush. Because they're in love. Love makes people blush, right? Well, it makes me blush anyway. <laughs> now, I'm thinking for the flowers. Like, I think yellow would be best. Because there's not really a lot of yellow happening here. And I think yellow is a very happy, nice color. This is sort of a lemony yellow as opposed to like a goldenrod. I just think it'll stand out more. We can add a little darker if we want. Just around the bottom here. For shading and whatnot. Alright, let's do the eyes. So like in the cartoon, Sapphire does have like blue eyes. Um, but if I'm remembering correctly, uh, I don't think Ruby has colored eyes. I think she just has little dots. So that's kind of a nuisance for this, but um, we'll make it up. It's art. It doesn't have to be accurate. That's what I tell myself. Alright. Oh, this little spot needs some blue. Here I was thinking we were all done with the color and nope. It's never done. It's never over. Alright, I think that's it. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to let that dry for a tick, and then we're going to start doing the fun part. <laughs> you guys know that the line art is always my favorite part to do. But a lot of you like it too, so maybe it's not just me, I don't know. <laughs> so my paper is already curling up a bit, so I've just got this little eraser here to keep it down a little bit. I'm going to be using a couple different uh, tools. We've got 
the classic Tombow Gray N79 marker. We've got this uh, Japanese pen that I never know the name of, um, but people usually know what it is in the comments, so if you're curious, <laughs> just look there. This one I don't really know as well, it's Japanese, sorry about that. And this one uh, is a Jelly Roll Sakura pen. Not even really sure if I'm going to use this one, but it's good to have all of your tools. So, I don't really have a plan here, just as an FYI. I'm just kind of following my dreams, as it were. I love the inking part. end of a Seinfeld episode when everything comes together and you realize everything was connected from the start. I can always get a little bit quiet at this part though because uh, it's like the do or die part. If you mess up on this part, that's it. <laughs> a lot of pressure. But, you know my motto with art. If you mess up, just make it look like you did it on purpose. Because nobody will know but you. And that's the truth. I am a firm believer in the fake it till you make it motto of life. I love Sapphire's hair. I know I already said it, but if you don't watch Steven Universe, you should give it a try, you might like it. It's definitely my favorite show of all time right now. Um, it makes me feel so good to watch. Even though some episodes are kind of sad, it's just, it's my favorite show right now. I just love it. And you can watch it with your kids if you have kids. Or if you are a kid, you might watch it too. It's really great. My favorite characters, I have a lot, because the thing about the show is, even if the characters aren't my favorite, they're all so three-dimensional that I can appreciate them even if I don't, like, love them. Does that make sense? Like, I appreciate Amethyst so much even though she's not, like, my favorite character because she's grown so much. All of the characters go through a lot of growth. I love Garnet. I love Pearl. Pearl is so funny. Her little expressions and stuff. And God, I just love her. She's so great. And Steven. <laughs> Steven is the character that I relate to the most of all of them. He's a little boy. I think they said in a recent episode he's 13 or 12 or something like that, and I just love him. I relate to so much that he does. And I feel like the show does an accurate job at, like, portraying a little boy. He makes a lot of mistakes, but uh, he really learns. He really gets so much better and learns so much about life, just like we all did. 
Well, just like we all are doing, really. I don't think any of us are kind of done growing. It's a good show. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm really happy that it's so, like, becoming popular now. It really deserves it. And I've seen so many new fans, and I'm so happy. Because they deserve it. It's a really good show. And as far as Valentine's Day goes, um, I don't know if any of you watch The Walking Dead. <laughs> Well, very swift left turn right there, but, um, that's on Valentine's Day this year. The premiere comes out on Valentine's Day. So I'm trying to figure out how to celebrate Valentine's Day, but also I really want to watch The Walking Dead. So I'm trying to figure out a situation where I can do all the things that I want to do. There's a lot of things coming out on Valentine's Day this year. Walking Dead's just one of them. I wonder why they're doing that. Maybe it's kind of like a nice date thing if you and your um, partner like to watch whatever. <laughs> Although I can't say Walking Dead is particularly romantic. Although, you know, I think anything can be romantic if it's like the thing that you like. Like, I would never say that. I think rock climbing is particularly romantic, but if that's the thing that you like to do, then I don't know, maybe that makes it romantic. I'm gonna go in with the black pen after, and do more details, but, uh, I just like this gray. I don't know why. I use it all the time. It's actually starting to run out. I should probably buy another one, but they're only like a dollar or something, so that's no problem. And uh, it's funny because they have two ends, like this one's the brush one, and then it has this little regular marker end. And the, I don't know if you've ever used Prismacolor markers. I used to use them when I was little. And I never used the other end of them. Like, they're double-ended. I only use the one end. But on the Tombows, which is these, I actually used both ends, so. I don't know, I think it's a better value. I'm not super keen on Prismacolor markers anymore. But uh, I think that's because Copic or Copic, whatever you call them, they've ruined me. <laughs> I've tried the better marker and now I know. <laughs> so I'm ruined for all other markers. Alright, so that's the gray. Now I'm gonna use some black, just to kind of use the black, I guess. Just to make things more obvious and notable, certain things. Like eyes. Eyes are important, I feel, to highlight and point out. give Sapphire big long eyelashes because she's got those big Miss Piggy eyelashes. <laughs> Her little lips. I 
And I'm gonna do the other sides too. Guess we should give her some pupils. Although again, in the show, she doesn't really have them. She just has black dots for eyes. So this isn't canon. <laughs> That's our I don't think anyone will judge me for doing. Just adding more detail to other parts, too. So I'm seeing nothing with them. I'm thinking I actually might use a little bit of pencil crayon on top of this as well. <laughs> Just because I'm feeling a little extra, but it needs some texture. The thing about using watercolor paint on non-watercolor paper is you kind of miss out on that grit, I guess you'd say, like, this, just the texture that the watercolor paper gives is such a weirdly important part, and this all just looks too clean to me. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. looks too clean. Let's add some grit. Let's see, what do we have? Alright. <laughs> I went and fetched uh, some pencil crayons. I've got brown and green and blue. And uh, we'll just see. See, there it is. That's what we want. Little bit of texture. I think that no matter what you're doing, if you think you want to add something else, even if it's not, you know, if you're doing a watercolor painting and you want to add marker, just do it. Who cares? There's no marker police who are going to come get you. It's art. Use a little bit of it. Ooh, let's use blue on Ruby. I think that would be nice for shading. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. See, now we're getting some texture because the watercolor on this paper kind of left a weird texture behind, which is nice with the pencil grain on top. Say that the light source is like right here. 
Look in this area coming down. So I'll put a little shading. In here. I never shape with black. Um, it's it gets rid of all the dimension. If you're shading anything, I recommend using um, blues and browns and greens and dark reds because uh, the way like. The way black would work on a picture just doesn't really exist in the world, you know, especially, you know, in life, like that <laughs> things that are in the shadow aren't just a darker gray version of that. There are so many colors in everything. I mean, you can use shade with gray if you want. That's just my advice. <laughs> this is what I do. But you've got your own method, too. Everybody does. Far be it for me to tell you what to do. I'd rather tell you to do your own thing. get a little bit extra when it comes to the pencil crayons. Yeah, I'm having fun. That's okay. Does everybody do this? Like hold all the utensils that they're using in this other hand? <laughs> When I'm painting, I end up with like four or five pen, um, paintbrushes in this hand <laughs> by the end of it. Nice. I wonder. Ooh. I wonder if this will work. Let's give it a little try, shall we? Oh yeah, nice. Little touches, although I don't really think it's going to work on any other spot, so just going to use it there. And I think that's it. I think we're good. I'm going to sign it. <laughs> and now I'm going to put this underneath a heavy book so that it be can become flat again. Which is what we always have to do when watercolor decides to warp paper. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday, and uh, yeah, I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye!